uplifted lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim. Hey, it's your destiny coach, Clarita Hatton Jackson, with Blue Flame Moments Radio Show. I want you to make sure you tune in right here to Election Radio with Kimmy Kim to hear my show, Blue Flame Moments Radio Show. You can learn more about me at Clarita Music on all social media and tune in to. What they call you is what you answer to. Let's go. I was a bean, huh? Committed, oh my God, new before he made me, shaped the blood to my heart. 
What's my name, King? What's the name that he gave me? Let the blind fella that brails in the one who made me. Been the lords of the low, I only entertain but none. Dwayne or the correct, I only answer the one. Two names, one name, poison, I'm the word spring. After my sin is proud, still be standing as king. Follow me now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for tuning in to Let's Talk Talk Show right here on Elation's Radio. I am your beloved host, Chanel Lynn. And a special thanks goes to the lovely Miss Kimmy Kim and Jerry Royce at Positive Power 21.org for our topic on tonight. We'll be discussing. Um, our series that's strictly for the women. So this is going to be called the Let's Talk Woman to Woman Talk Show. And we'll be discussing relationships, marriage, friendship, um, and so on and so forth. This is uh, a series on uh, building up our women um, into virtuous women and the ones who consider themselves, or those of us who consider ourselves uh, virtuous women, um, We'll be dealing with whatever issues that we could possibly have with self um, and grow, learn to grow from our past, learn to grow from our pain and buy it and learn how to love ourselves and love on one another more and more. And also, this series will also include discussions on, um, well, discussions that will help build the, uh, uh, or mend um, the the broken bridge between men and women um, in our society on today to help uh, help us unify more and more in love um, and to help us to understand one another more and more so that we can come together and learn how to love on one another and possibly build relationships and build healthy uh, healthy relationships and build healthy uh, marriages and even healthy friendships. So I'm really excited <laughs> on our series. I'm the only one uh, talking tonight. Next week, I really do have a very special uh, treat for you all. I have an author um, that will be coming, and I also have some men and some other women um, that will be joining us as well. So I want to encourage you all to uh, tune in, keep your ears and eyes uh, tuned in uh, right here on Elations Radio. Um, so for tonight, I want to just give some pointers. Um, this one, uh, I'll say, is the 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 more thorough explanation of what you can expect um on next Tuesday and I'll just pretty much for tonight this is towards uh women who can who can tend to be uh negative um towards other women um especially when it comes to you know uh being involved you know in relationships um and even Marriage, um, as some of us know that um, there are a lot of, well, not a lot, but there can be some women um, who can tend to um, be negative and give bad advice, um, you know, as soon as someone who is in a relationship or married, um, they can reach out to their friend or friends that they've been, you know, in a friendship with for some odd years and so on and so forth. And sometimes when people are in relationships or marriage, it, they feel like there's something going on that they are overwhelmed. They tend to want to vent or be a, you know, you feel like you should be able to come to your sister, you know what I'm saying? Your friend um, and be able to vent to them and get some good advice. But sometimes that advice is only to destroy uh, a possible healthy relationship or a possible healthy marriage and so i won't be before you long at all give me a good 25 maybe 30 minutes but 
like between 25 and 30 minutes tops, and I will be out of your way. <laughs> um, some advice that um, I can give, um, and this is also through research, and this is also through um, talking with a few of my um, friends who are uh, psychiatrists. Um, here's one advice to to some of my sisters out there listening. If your intentions aren't to help, uh, to help her through, you know, whatever it is that she's going through. Um, if your intentions are not to help as far as, you know, helping, as far as, you know, giving her some really sound, um, beneficial and effective advice according to your personal experience that was successful or some, you know, some information that you know can be, you know, successful um, in helping her and her relationship or her marriage, uh, you know, grow more, don't talk to her. Don't talk her out of it. Don't talk her out of, you know, being with who the person that she loves. If he is not a toxic individual, Sisterhood, and this is because sisterhood is about supporting one another. It's not about competition. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not about competition. It's not about, you know, one getting the upper hand on the other. <coughs> it's not about bitterness. It's not about envy or strife. It's not about being self-centered. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not about um, any of that. Um, it's all about wanting good for others as you do for yourself. And it's about wanting longevity for others, you know, as you desire it for yourself. <coughs> Excuse me, my apologies to other listeners. I hope I'm not coming down with a cold. But understand that Medea <laughs> is not the of advice. She's not a role model to look up to as far as, you know, marriage or relationships. And then mind you, I do understand because um, I'm quite a fan of Tyler Perry myself, and he does have, you know, some very um, valid advice maybe sometimes, probably at the end of some of his plays that he has had. Um, but, <laughs> ladies, we really should um, we really shouldn't, you know, be looking to television um, as, you know, source a source of advice on what to do and how to deal with, especially one another, or how to deal with a, a spouse or a possible spouse. Um, and the reason why I say this, I think it's important for me to say this because um, even though it may sound silly to some of us, there are a lot of us who are actually mimicking these TV shows. I mean, you know, Basketball Wives, Housewives of Atlanta, you know, these reality shows and so on and so forth. A lot, There are a lot of us who are mimicking um, this toxicity uh, and, their, you know, in friendships and marriage and, and relationships and so on and so forth. And so it's kind of obvious to see that maybe, just maybe, maybe it's subconscious, you know, that, you know, looking at and, you know, with looking at TV shows and listening to what they are saying, that we are subconsciously receiving this information. We, our minds are, are jotting down this, this data, you know, that what we see on a regular basis. And this is the thing that is embedded in our minds. And so I, we could, I'll just give us the benefit of the doubt. Some of us can just be subconsciously doing this, mimicking the toxicity, you know, all this bad advice, all this gossiping, all this slander, you know, all this, um, you know, behaving, you know, in such a vulgar kind of way. Uh, which is really destroying our communities. It's destroying relationships. It's destroying our culture as a people. It's destroying, you know, uh, the structure of family. So I just want to say, you know, just <laughs> um, 
Stop getting your advice. Stop getting marital advice, relationship advice from television. And work on nation building. You can study, you know, the etiquette and morals behind nation building as relationships and marriage is the foundation of the structure of family. Um, let's see what I have here. Toxic relationships. <laughs> um, a toxic relationship is characterized by behaviors on the part of the toxic um, partner that are emotionally and not infrequently physically damaging to the partner. While a healthy relationship contributes to our self-esteem and emotional energy, a toxic relationship damages self-esteem and drains energy. A healthy relationship involves mutual caring, respect, and compassion, and interest in our partner's welfare and growth. Um, An ability to share control and decision-making, in short, a shared desire for each other's happiness. A healthy relationship is a safe relationship, a relationship where we can be ourselves without fear, a place where we feel comfortable and secure. A toxic relationship, however, on the other hand, is not a safe place. A toxic relationship is characterized by insecurity, um, self-centeredness, dominance, control, Um, And we risk our very being by staying in such a relationship. To say a toxic relationship is dysfunctional is at best an understatement. Keep in mind that it takes two individuals to have a toxic relationship. Initially, um, we'll look at the behaviors of the toxic partner um, on next Tuesday. Um, but um, we must look equally hard at the individual who is a recipient of the toxic behavior, and we must ask why. Why does an adult stay in a relationship that will most inevitably damage him or her emotionally and or physically? Here are some of the reasons why some people could possibly um, choose to stay in the toxic relationship. Uh, one could be uh, from fear of being single. Research finds that those with stronger fears about being single are willing to and fear of being single uh, is the reason finds that it's about are settle for less than what and who they deserve. Um, number two, we can sometimes we can be satisfied with unsatisfactory relationships. For example, some of us struggle with low self esteem, which can result in us uh, setting our standards too low. And so some of us will maintain a bad relationship because our expectations are being met, which can give us satisfaction, but not fulfill our happiness. And number three, which is the last of um, of what I have to share as far as what the reasons why um, some of us can choose to say toxic relationships is normalizing toxicity. Sometimes we, sometimes when we've gone through long periods of emotional, mental, verbal, social, or physical abuse that we can or won't get out of, we can have a tendency to accept this as a way of life. And it's actually a part of our innate survival mechanism that we, you know, normalize this thing. And it keeps us uh, going from day to day without falling apart or having um, nervous and so I just want to give you some tips. Lastly, I just want to give some um, tips on um, how we can choose to heal from toxic, toxic, excuse me, toxic <laughs> relationships uh, or toxic marriages or even toxic friendships because friendships can be toxic as well. Um, stop asking questions like 
Why did this person treat me this way? Why is this person so crappy to me? What's wrong with that person? What's wrong with me? Was this person just a jerk? Was this person a narcissist and just an altogether terrible person, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Stop asking yourself these questions because it only um, it only stirs up more and more negative thinking, and it causes more um, damaging um, kind. It, it causes more damage than it than it does, you know, um, than it can help. And start asking yourself, what did I miss in the vetting process that I allowed this person into my life, or what is wounded inside of me that I choose to stay with this person for as long as I do or did? Um, And lastly, uh, how can I grow? How can I grow from this experience so it doesn't repeat itself into a bad pattern? Um, That's all I have to share for now. I really just wanted to give you a snippet or some, you know, some, some, just some something to look forward to um, on the show on next Tuesday. Some um, really good discussions from some from some very powerful um, and well educated um, and very experienced individuals um, on next Tuesday. I'm excited. I hope that the listeners. I hope you all are excited as. Well, as this is going to be um, the very beginning of a building, what I like to call a building um, process, a building of self-esteem, a building of um, love for self, you know, not as far as, you know, being obsessed with, you know, yourself or being too overly, (laughs) well, being prideful, you know. Not that, but learning how to love yourself in a healthy way to where you are confident um and also you know with building uh with building with building all of that up um it enables us to be able to love on others as we grow to and learn to love on ourselves um, I just hope that the listeners um Got some 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 beneficial um, and effective nuggets of advice from the show on this evening. That is all I have for now. Um, once again, I am your host Chanel Lynn. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to Let's Talk Talk Show right here on Elations Radio, where we are striving to change the world one show at a time. Everyone, please be safe. And have a wonderful rest of the week. We'll see you right here on Relations Radio on next Tuesday, right at the same time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Until next time, good night. Shout out D on the track, Paint Music Media. Shout out DJ Lee Productions. And I'm out here. But if you a game changer, got my Let's head go. Got my grind don't high. We ain't losing trout. I'ma ride till I die. I go hard in that lane. My God is the aim. Put me in, coach. And watch me change the game. Cause I'm a game changer. 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 I'm full court press. I pledge allegiance to the best. Ain't nothing left to give it that. Reverence that the Father gets. So every day I work the sweat. Can get a flesh and other rest. They say go hard or go home. I say just do whatever's best. It's evident I'm blessed and I work like it. Fight, fight like a Viking. Fight, fight like a lichen. The difference is I like it, so I shine like I'm lightning. So I'm going head to head with certain death. Who you liking? <laughs> yeah. So it's time for coach to put me in. I'm strapping on my shoulder pads. Lacing up my cleats and then I'm gone with the wind. Like I'm gone in 60 seconds. You can't hold me. You can't check me. Check the memo. Check the message running through. Like, like, like I'm baddest. I'm trucking whoever standing in. My way. Hey, ain't, ain't no way you gon' stop me. You better off to let me in. Cause I go hard, even though they say no way that I could win. Like I'm Brett Ford, I'ma ride this game. My head to the sky, my grind don't high. We ain't losing trout, I'ma ride till I die. I go hard in that lane. My God is the aim. Put me in, coach, and watch me change the game. Cause I'm a game changer, I'm a game changer.
changer, I'm a game 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 changer. Yeah, I told you once before, my God came to change the game. Different outlook, hope to life, a different way to play the lane. Now my rushing yards just got rocketing, now I'm so insane. For the kingdom building, now my shot, it cannot be contained. So I'm going to pray for change, for myself and then what I can. I don't need no euros or no pesos or no money grams. Shout out to Wado, cause I know that he gon' play this fam. The FCA sports camp, game changer, summer jam. I don't need a hundred grand to tell him that they need the lamb. It's heaven, it's just who I am. Al Cam, this what I say. Man, I'm gon' play the fifth. It's too deep and turn it quick. It's like a mouth from the trap to turn around, get back in it. Never it ain't that fucking same. It's everything that your book they chain. Like I'm Jack Johnson, the same year he changed the same. So I sacrifice my life for the cause, just to win. And if you a game changer, let me see you my head. Change. 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 Change.